Good morning. Hope you are all doing well um, on this chilly morning, um, Thursday morning. Weekend's closer, thank goodness. Um, yeah, so today just a short chat about Neuralink, one of Elon Musk's other ventures. Um, now, if you didn't know about Neuralink, it's one of Elon Musk's ventures. Um, they just got approval for human trials. Now, the goal behind Neuralink is to create a hands-free interface uh, that's directly connected to the brain um, in terms of computing and computers. Um, it's a bit more complicated than it actually sounds. Um, you could potentially, the, the potential behind this, firstly, let's, let's rewind a bit. Um, you might think, okay, uh, computer chips uh, being implanted in the brain, a uh, big no-no. Yeah, and uh, I, I agree, it sounds a bit dodgy, if I can put it like that, um, if you just take it at face value. But if you look deeper at the, pot the potential of this um, research and inventions in this regard, um, you will realize that uh, Neuralink has the potential to um, cure many diseases. If you are uh, bedridden and you are um, paralyzed, Neuralink has the potential to make you walk again. If you are deaf or blind, Neuralink has the potential to help you see or hear again. Um, there's not many people that realize the potential behind this. It could cure, cure many diseases. Um, it could literally make the impossible possible. Um, so human trials have been approved recently in the last month or so somewhere. Um, it's just one of Elon Musk's ventures that's... Um, got the potential to change the world for the better. And I, I think they need to proceed with this research um, cautiously, though. Um, the first um, participants in this trial um, will be people that have disabilities, and they are, I suspect, in the process of selecting those individuals currently. Um, not sure of all the details yet, but I think it's something that might change the world for the better. And... Um, uh, long way to go in this research. They actually did have a few trials on monkeys, where a monkey literally sits in front of a computer and plays, I think, Pong. And it does it quite damn accurately. It actually plays better than I could, um, with just by thoughts, just by moving the uh, objects around on the screen, on the computer screen. Um, there is so much potential in regards to Neuralink, it's insane. Um, and they are, in fact, light years ahead of anything else in the industry. Um, look, if you have a child that's born or a spouse that's been in an accident and they are paralyzed or your child was born blind or deaf and you have the opportunity to assist them in seeing again or walking again or hearing again, I think you would take it. If it's if all that it's going to take is a small incision in, in your skull, it sounds invasive and obviously it is. Um, and like all research that's new, it's got a long way to go before it's ready for main um for for big time use and the uh, other thing is also in regards to this there will be quite a bit of back backlash especially from pharmaceutical companies because if come to think of it um how much money are they to lose if this is successful um if you can um have some small um surgery done and you could cure some of these diseases and problems that we have on earth um, the pharmace pharmaceutical industry will use lose billions and um, so i don't think they'll be too keen on supporting Neuralink, but i think there's big potential for assisting um, people with disabilities in this regard um, the capabilities of this um, in the long run um, might be tremendous and what we might learn from this process is, is unbelievable um, if there's neural, neural pathways that's for some reason not operating correctly you could fix this with Neuralink um, I'm no expert in the field but um, it's definitely worth investigating this this um, avenue of research and um, I think it's um, going to change the world for a better potentially um look i do need i think we need to proceed with caution though um especially if you look at all the sci-fi movies <laughs> from the past um you don't want to be hacked do you <laughs> that sounds a bit sci-fi doesn't it but if it's controlled correctly and done correctly i think there's a lot of potential for good in this especially for people that really need help um you could potentially view this as a sci-fi 
future in the making where people have superhuman capabilities. Yes, that's possible as well with Neuralink, especially if you combine it with um, robotics and, and so forth. Um, and mechanical things, because then imagine being able to control anything that's electronic or, well, you can basically connect to the internet without, with, while just sitting in your freaking chair. You can use your phone 10 times better potentially than you would ever be able to do this. You could schedule appointments, you could think about something and literally do it. Um, that sounds science fiction, but it's soon to be potential reality. Um, yeah, in terms of... Uh, Getting away from Neuralink there for a bit, um, Starship, um, no drastic updates at this stage, but uh, I think the launch pad um, stage zero is nearly um, finished, in terms, finished in terms of repairs. Um, still to await the results of, I think there's a few court cases pending, pending court cases, uh, environmentalists. Mm, um, just like the pharmaceutical companies has lots to lose, there's other companies that's got lots to lose as well um, in certain regards to this, but I'm not going to say too much in that regard. Uh, but yeah, uh, they will, there's quite a few starships being built currently. Um, and the number of nose cones appeared on, on sites at Boca Chica, so there's, there's quite a bit of activity going on there, a lot of upgrades and uh, um, plates underneath the launch pad. Um, if you did watch the the first launch attempt, well, successful launch, I must add, um, if you look at Launchpad, you might think after this uh, first launch attempt, you might think it was not a success by the size of that crater underneath launch tower, um, but it was in fact quite a big success, like I said in my previous video. Uh, but yeah, just one of near uh, one of the Elon Musk's uh, ventures that's potentially going to change the world for the better. Um, like I said, I think they need to proceed with caution because there is obviously quite a few risks and anyone that is involved in these trials uh, will have to acknowledge that there is risk of serious injury or uh, even death, uh, to be honest. But uh, unfortunately, that's, that's, that's something that the, inv the individual involved will ha have to consider for themselves and when making that decision. But I think there is room for quite a bit of... Um, improvement in many things there um, and the research must go ahead but yeah i hope you guys have a wonderful day been a while since i made a video um yeah enjoy that